Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. I'm Israel. First of all, I'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh and I do so Shemusha Second of all, I'd like to give double honor and glory to the elders who taught us the truth and paved the way for us to come and grow to this thing. I'd also like to give a strong shalom to the brethren who are those who are doing the truth, seeking after righteousness, seeking for you from the lust and the cares of this world. I'll give you a strong shalom. But today I'll be coming back with a quick video on don't work, don't eat. And, um, and that's just a simple message, like, like, uh, when it comes to, like, just living your everyday life or in this truth, like, if, like, you don't work or, like, you don't do any labor, like, you're not going to be able to have food. But, um, let me get a, a fresh verse. Book of Proverbs, chapter 19, verse 15. Proverbs 19, 15. Slothfulness casteth into a thief's sleep. Kind of like when you're just tired and you're lazy and you're like you're a bum, and then all you just want to do is like just sleep or not. You're, you're just gonna be idle, and then idle souls are suffer hunger. Kind of like now you might be even too like lazy and that you won't you won't even get up from your bed and like go make a sandwich. It's like you just you're just hungry through the entire day just because you want to be tired, and that's just like a small example. Like there could be. For example, like, say you just don't want to work, like, you don't want to get a job, then you just, like, you're not going to be able to uh, provide for your family or for yourself or buy food for yourself, so you're going to suffer hunger, whether that be spiritually or physically, or spiritually, literally, I should say. But uh, the other place I wanted to go is, like, the next chapter, Proverbs 20, verse 13. Proverbs twenty thirteen. Love not sleep lest I come to poverty. Con sorry. And this expounds on like Proverbs nineteen fifteen. This says if you like if you just love sleep or just like being a bum or something like you're gonna come to poverty. Like if you like if you like you have no source of income, you're just gonna come to poverty. Open thine eyes and thou shalt be satisfied with bread. Con open thine eyes, like get up and do work. Whether you spiritually or physically or spiritually and like or literally like and then like um bread or supplies is food and like you have food in your table or like the thing that you desire it's like basically like it's a principle of a like a when you labor you get a reward so like if you when you work you eat uh finally my last verse is the Second Thessalonians three, verse ten. Now, I believe the context of this is uh, when Paul is writing a letter to the uh, Thessalonians, like just basically telling them uh, what to do, like in certain situations and stuff. I know, like uh, the first two parts of that were correct, but I only like um, I just kind of made a quick guess on like because I'm pretty sure like. Um, always telling them what to do but hey i gotta read this book again myself but um see and, uh, it's a quick tangent but that's why you should always read scriptures like yourselves and not uh, let other men read it for you because you can be easily misled by false prophets like even even me like not that i think about false prophets but like you should like read scriptures yourself should have just listened to me because i can be I could like um like unintentionally tell you something wrong and not know it, but like you wouldn't know it if you haven't read it right for yourself. But anyways, uh, to get back to the lesson, Second Thessalonians three verse ten. This is like Paul like giving further instructions to the people in the, the of the church at Thessalonica. Second Thessalonians three ten, for even when we were with you, this we commanded you. That if any would not work, neither should he eat. Con. So, like, Paul is speaking uh, to, uh, I guess, the leaders of the church of Thessalonica, like, saying, oh, like, even when we're with you, we said this, that if somebody's not doing any work, then they shouldn't eat, which can be, like, a literal thing. Like, like they're not helping out with any labor, then uh, you shouldn't, like, and, like, say you have, like, a feast or, like, a buffet or something, like, shouldn't get anything of that but like it can also be like a, like a symbolic or spiritual thing like they're not helping spread the word or anything then 
then like you shouldn't like give them the word to the Lord or or something like that. Like you could apply it to like a something being spiritually, or you could just apply it to like the literal thing. But like that's just basically what this video is: quick exhortation. The telling of us of brethren, whether we be in the highways and byways or in the internet, as myself, that we still got to do the work. And like, not all men are meant to be prophets and teachers, but like, we still got to do something to help for this ministry. But anyways, I pray y'all pray for me as I pray for y'all, and I pray y'all make pray for each other. But I give all honor and glory to Yahweh, and I do so by shooting my scout shot. Shalom.